Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another report video. Today, as you can tell by the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to go over the game from last night and ask the title, should Grandpa be sacked by Chelsea manager? I'm going to go over a few questions I've got the way Grandpa went last night. So anyway, let's get straight down to the video. So guys, you know what to do, a big crop from you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So... As you can tell by your screen now, I've got the um, Chelsea set up as a 4-3-3, 5 in midfield, whatever you want to call it. The Premier League uh, website went a bit differently. They went with uh, two holding midfielders, uh, two holding defensive midfielders, three attack midfielders, and Kai have a get from. Okay, I was questioning this sign up pretty much from the start, and I have pretty much done since Grandpa has been in charge of Chelsea, why is he starting to have a cap front? Uh, quite a lot. Apparently, Aubameyang's got injuries. Your Chelsea fans scrap to update me on that and, you know, tell me what you think as well. So, roughly around about the fifth minute, um, Raheem Stone did get injured pretty... I think he... I think the Sky Sports report they pulled his hamstring. I'm not sure if that's just a guess from Sky or, you know, but that's what they went with. So I thought, okay, maybe he will bring on a Bamyang or, you know, and then maybe swap um, Havoc and a Bamyang well, considering Havoc, say, train wing off for Germany and. Bamyang's basically a goal scorer, that's what he does, that's what he's at these clubs for today. So, when the sub did happen, what I expected to see didn't happen. And it questions me because it'd be like me being a bright fan, it'd be like us having Evan Ferguson out on the pitch for say, and we bring on Trossard, and Trossard plays centre forward. Just something you don't do, but what does Potter do? So, hold on, let me find what number was Sterling. So, he takes Sterling off, obviously, because of the injury. He then puts a banging out wide with Havoc still in the, cent in the centre. To me, it questions so many things where I was um, not happy they left Brighton, but I think we got a lot further under Robert Deserdy. Um, Twice I've been up Stamford Bridge this season. One was the uh, last Thomas Tuchel game in charge. I um, can't remember who that was against. Uh, West Ham, I believe it was. And the other time I've been up there was the Grand Hunt's first Champions League game in charge against RB Leipzig, I believe it was, or Salzburg, or, you know, I know it's some team like that, but I can't, can't remember who it was. So. As you can tell now, I've got Bamyang down here. I'm not sure if the ring is wrong. I'm not too concerned about, you know, about place to players, to be honest. I just want really to get my point across. So you've got Sigic, Havoc, and Bamyang. Now, if it was me, as I said, I put Bamyang dead central. He's a born goal scorer and Havoc out wide. But no. As I said, he puts Bamyang out wide and Havoc in the middle. And this is where I do, will probably get a bit of a annoyance if I was a Chelsea fan. So anyway, game goes past, you know, um, pretty much most of the way till Jack Greenish scores. Around about, I think it's around about 55 minutes into the game. So I was the second half. And then at... Hold on, I'm just going to night for a minute it was. There it is. Um, so, 68 minutes to go, and they take a Bamyang off for Lewis Hall, who played number 68, I believe that is. Yeah. So, who only did Grandpa a waste sub, in my eyes. He then puts a Bamyang off for someone, you know, younger, less experienced, okay. My question to you Chelsea fans, and you can put your comments down in the comment section below. 
is we should put Lewis Hall on first when it's still nil nil when um, about Yang came on and try a plan with Havoc in the middle or would you done the sub what Potter did and put Bam Yang in the middle um, I just found this a very interesting video to make I think the time is up for Potter actually I'll say uh, as I said I never wanted him to go I think what he did on our club was dirty but we moved on and obviously he's dragged Chelsea back one more thing for you Chelsea fans if your owners or board, whatever you want to call them, are going to stick with Potter, you've got a long three years. That's all I'm going to say because it took three years for Graham Potter to build something special up with us at Brighton. So you can have a long road ahead. Um, the next Chelsea fixture is Chelsea Crystal Palace. I had a look at it last night. It's going to be a very interesting Premier League fixture. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end. I'll just for my this quick video, get my points across, ask you some questions. Please get involved in the comments. I really want to know your opinions. And I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end, as I've just said, by, by giving it a big thumbs up, showing your support. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.